Okay, I'll go to demonstrate how to collect images <coughs> with a drone instead of an ATV. You can see a little movie showing how we do it with an ATV. But this plate, you need to take a picture from the height where you know it's okay. And when it's okay, it's when you zoom, then you have to have, be able to see the gratings up to at least 11. So I'll place that one. And then I will see if I can take off. Seven, that's where I want it. Now I just need to find the plate. There we are. Just one more with no motion blur. Here we are. Ah, that's a hard one. So now we will go find some weeds. Now I'm in 0 0.8, I will take a picture from here. Go a little up. I could go to sports mode, but let's try to... And then I lower the altitude to 0 0.7 using the active Measurement 1.2. You have to trust the uh, readings when you do this. And then the next area. Take a reading from here. See if I can. And th this is where the automatics would have been nice that the system could go down here by itself and take the picture. It's not really nice to do that yourself. Let's go into sports mode. This is where you really need the camera. It's not nice when you're that close to that far. You can see I'm 260 meters away. So we try to decline. Seven, six, three. What you can hear is another drone taking off. One meter. I really would like to have automatic now. 1.7, 1.5, that's not, that's quite close. And 
Now we have look forward again. Let's rotate a little, find another spot in the field, and you can see it's not really a, an efficient manner of doing it compared to the. 18. So I'm primarily doing this to demonstrate it's doable, but it's it's not a cost-efficient way of doing it, to be honest. And then declining again. Please give me an automatic system for this. I'll go away from sports mode. I need. So you can see it's really time consuming and the drone is not steady at the moment. Now it's steady. One point four. One meter. One point eight. Take the picture. And let's move in sports mode. So this area. One point five, one, one point eight. Oh, there we are. A little too high. Would like to go below. Now we really need to trust the sensor. A little lower, thank you. There we are. Ah, there's a little thing. Now I apparently have a drone above me. That is. Yeah. To do it uh, by any use, you need some experience. Well, let's take a picture here. If I believed in the safety system, then. I have a little interference from my neighbor with the drone. Now we have the picture again. <laughs> if I could press a bottom here, like C1 or something, and then it declined, took the picture, and then inclined again, so I only had to do the control, that would be a huge improvement. Look forward. Let's find a new spot. Here, for example, look down. Of course, if I practice a little, I could do this a lot faster. Here, take the picture up again. Look forward. Let's find a new spot. Somewhere like here. Look down, decline. Talk and fly. Can be a little hard to concentrate on both. Picture. Look forward. Fly forward, perhaps. Let's take a little turn so we get back home. Let's take a picture. Look down. Decline. Take a picture. I'm a little closer, then it's easier.
here because I can see it, I don't have to use the camera on the drone. Somewhere like here, that's 0 0.6, so that's quite close. And we can take a little more pictures along the headland here. That's where the grass seed is off now. Like here, for example. And the next step now, let's say we are taking sufficient pictures after the last one here. So the next step is to fly home. Take a picture of my neighbor here. Where do we have him? <laughs> that is. So let's go home. Mission completed.